How can I improve my voice? Martino, wow. Well, that's a really broad question. Um, but first of all, it's really about figuring out where you're at, is figuring out what works for you, what doesn't it, and why. If you're more of a puller, if you have too much muscle in your voice, if you have too much air in your voice, all those things matter. Um, getting a really proper diagnosis. Love you too, Casey. Um, getting a really proper diagnosis and figuring out what kind of vocal you are. Um, I've said this to you guys many times before on these lives. You can always hit me up at ValerieMorehouse.com. Um, it's just M-O-R-E-H-O-U-S-E.com and I can answer your questions directly um, outside of this, this forum. Also, we can get you a lesson or get you set up with one of my associate teachers that are phenomenal. Um, and they can kind of run you through a 30 minute diagnostic and figure out who, what kind of singer you are, what the problems are, if you need ear training, your pitch, um, you know, where you fall in line as far as using too much muscle, are you too breathy, what kind of exercises do you need uh, to improve your vocal, and then they'll work on a song from there. So anybody that ever wants to do that, you know where to go. Um, I saw something, um, I don't know if we touched on this the last time, I saw something a little bit disturbing um, I wanted to share with everybody. Uh, it was something that popped up on my feed um, and it was a teacher, I guess she was doing a master class or promoting a master class and she was with a student and she was talking about uh, the voice and she was talking about the voice as like a baby's crying, like a wah sound, which if you watch me do that, you can see my, my muscles grabbing and pulling, which is what we don't want to do. And then she proceeded to talk about the retinoid mus muscles that run down the neck, which we're always trying to make go to sleep, right? We don't want those to, to help at all. We want just the vocal cords to be phonating and working. And she was talking about them squeezing the vocal cords so that the vocal cords come together and create sound. I was a little bit uh, confusing and disturbing only because that as teachers, that's what we're trying not to do. So I always tell people, I also just gave this tip if you were on bettervoice.co or Va official Val Morehouse, always, always, always find a proper diagnosis or a really good teacher um, with a really good track record. That helps too, because you you really want to research that because you, you don't want to get your warmups online. That is really dangerous. Tips and things are fine, but, but giving, selling full warmups online are really, really dangerous because um, you haven't seen the person. It's like diagnosing someone with a medical condition, but you've never seen them or spoken to them before. Um, it's really difficult to do because you're all very different as singers. And so I would encourage you not to, to do that. There are some basic warmups that you can give singers online um, and you can identify them as puller and flipper. But if you just grab them online just randomly and you haven't identified what kind of singer you are and you don't have some basic information, that's going to be really difficult for you to um to follow up with because you'll be using some exercises that maybe are fine or benign, they're not bad or good, and then you could be doing two or three exercises that tying knots tighter in your voice because they're having you do exercises. If you have air in the voice, they're having you do breathy exercises and that's not gonna work for you. So here you are doing all these breathy exercises and not knowing what you're doing and you're like, well, oh my gosh, why am I not improving? That's why you're not improving. So be very, very judicious about that. Hi guys, we have some more people joining us. Come on in, come on in. I'm just talking about the dangers of grabbing warm-ups online. Soundwave speech, hi, how are you? Hmm. Questions, questions, guys. Let's launch on in, give them to me, lay them on me. We only have about 20 minutes, so. Hey, Wilma. I'm gonna try to say hi to everybody today and get to all your, your questions. While you've got me, you should definitely ask them. Hopefully most of you or many of you are singers. Um, I want to know what your thoughts are. I want to know what your problems have been. I want to know what your experiences have been. Um, I want to know if you're stuck with anything. Uh, we have a question. What warm ups are best and safe to do for, with the vocal trainer? Well, since I have mine here, I'm going to show you. Um, <clears throat> I like to go about, you see where there's a little notch. We're making an upgrade on these as well. So we're gonna have little notches on them that you can go to notch one, notch two, notch three, notch four, and so on. I like to put mine about halfway. You see it's sort of halfway open there. And I like to do 
If, it, if it's a female, I'll start here on C, D, E, F, G above uh, low C4, and you'll go. Make sure you're humming. You're not. Don't blow into it like that. A lot of people think they're they're trying to blow air through. The air will come out gently. Um, we have another question about the larynx, Braden. Will you catch that one for me? Because I'm still on this. Mm -hmm. I'm still seeing a little bit of air and feeling a little bit of air come out. We'll go up halfway. Mm -hmm. And then you can just go half step, half step, half step. If you're a male singer, I'd start a little lower. So you're gonna start C below middle C for a male, um, or maybe even G below that. Or you can just go and half step up. What it does is it creates a little bit of back pressure if you've never used it before, and it only lets you move your vocal cords. Your vocal cords are the only thing that are moving and vibrating, and then all the muscles in the neck tap out, which brings me to the next question about the hiking larynx, whoever had that question. Most singers, hike their larynx. And it would be interesting for you to understand that even if you have too much muscle in the voice, where you strain, or you have too much air in the voice, where you're too breathy, the larynx can go up and hike up for both of those problems. So you have to know which exercises to do. So the one that just asked about the high larynx, I'm guessing that you're using too much muscle. So I would use aspirate exercises like a wee, 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 or wee, 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 so let the muscles go. Also, you can put your hand on your larynx here. You take a deep breath in and go, <gasps> you'll feel it go down. You guys are with me now, let's do it. You've got me here, so let's do this. Take your fingers, put it on your neck, on your larynx, and take a deep breath in and open your jaw. Watch me. <gasps> my stomach goes flat, my rib cage comes out, my larynx goes down. Now I'm ready to do the scale. <gasps> wee, 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 wee. You won't feel anything. So try that at home. You can also just use the trainer. It won't let you use the larynx, guys. This is why you have to get one of these things, bettervoice.store. It's incredible. I know I keep reiterating, but I use it with Olivia Rodrigo. I use it with Sam Smith. I use it with all my clients. They are. It's an absolute game changer because it puts you in the mix right out the gate other than using waters, and a water bottle of water and like four or five different size straws for different types of back pressure. It's like bench pressing heavy weights. So the more uh, the lever goes shut, right? The more the tight the hole is there, the more weight you have on the bar and the more open it is, the lighter it is. Um, yeah, so it's the, is it the, is it the K Doyle? Yeah, you're welcome, K. Um, always just start in a resting position. So, low larynx, low larynx, low larynx, <gasps> and then start your scale. And the more and more you do that after a couple of months, you'll stop grabbing and pulling. Um, <clears throat> let's see, <clears throat> excuse me, when using the vocal trainer in higher register, I feel like I use my throat muscles. Okay, you're probably squeezing too hard. This is for seashell the fuzz, is that I get that right? Um, <clears throat> I love all the names, they're so funny and hilarious. Okay, so you wanna start it maybe a little bit more open then, get it more open, get that, that lever about there, and, and you can start on a C if you're female. Middle C, and just don't push. It doesn't have to be loud, guys. Don't ever do anything loud. Nothing has to be pushed. It has to be medium voice. So even when you're using the trainer, make sure you open your jaw at the top, because when you go, mm, 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 your larynx goes down, down, down. So this is a this answers a lot of the same questions. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to open it a bit. I don't feel any any problems with that. I don't feel excuse me any stress or any strain. Always make sure that the jaw is coming open and don't force anything. Don't force it. If it's if it's struggling, you're struggling, open up the trainer all the way until you feel more gentle. Open it all the way and make sure you're taking that nice good breath in. 
So I think I answered that. Please tell me if I answered that. Um, also, whoever is struggling at the top, your larynx is coming up, I can guarantee you, and then your retinoid muscles are probably squeezing. So again, same thing. We'll recommend exercise after not vocal training for 20 years. We'll recommend exercises. This is Sharif, Ray. Um, all these exercises are for beginner, intermediate, intermediate rather, and advanced. I can talk. Um, it's a great way to start for anybody that needs to get the vocal cords moving. Let's say you're going back to the gym for the first time and you're trying to bench press. You want to go a little more lightly. Even the bar may even be enough, and then we put weights on. And so we keep the trainer somewhat open so it's easier. So you're not pushing. I feel that right there. And it's so easy. It's so simple. And the only thing that can move are your vocal cords, right? So all the neck muscles are tapping out. So this is for beginners, intermediate, and advanced students alike. Um, as far as individual exercises, guys, go to ValerieMorehouse.com and contact me. It's a longer conversation, but I'll answer all your questions outside this forum. So ValerieMorehouse.com and contact me because I can't answer all of them. <clears throat> um, and some of this stuff is sort of like seeing a patient, right? Seeing a client or talking to them in person to figure out what their problems are and how you, you untie them because you guys are all different. You're all different. Um, more questions. We have about 12 minutes here before I have to wrap up. So now would be the time. If anybody has any more questions they want to ask me. Um, if you're a new singer, if you're afraid to sing, uh, one of the avenues you can also go to is I did a uh, something called Skillshare. Um, it's an app you can get uh, on your phone or you can pull it up on your computer. And I did a 12 series, 90 minute masterclass um, for beginners. So you can start there as well. Highly recommend it. Uh, Skillshare.com. Um, I love Phantom of the Opera. What can I do to help get rid of phlegm? Yeah, so phlegm is a tough one. You can warm up if you have the right warm ups. It'll, you'll start coughing as you warm up because the phlegm's trying to come off your lungs and off your vocal cords. Um, you can also boil some water and a little eucalyptus oil and then don't burn your face, but you can put a towel over your head and just breathe it in. So bring it to a boil and breathe it in and that will open up your lungs and it will loosen some of the phlegm and you'll start to cough that up. Also, I think it's in my, let me grab it, the nebulizer guys. You got to get your nebulizers, bettervoice.store. I'm back. These guys, it comes with the packets. Looks like this. You can plug it in or use batteries. You fill it up with your water medicine and clip it. And then you just turn it on and it gives you all of the steam, this flow. You can put it over your mouth and breathe it in. That's really good for phlegm. It's got all kinds of attachments. So bettervoice.store, you can get it where you get your vocal trainer. Um, I have a lot of my students use these and they swear by them. It's really small and tiny and compact. You can use it on a plane. You can use it anywhere. You can travel with it. Um, that's really, really great for phlegm with a little bit of eucalyptus oil as well. You could put that in there. Um, oh, okay. I have MTD. Any tips? So MTD is just what we call vocal dysphonia. It's munch muscle tension dysphonia. It's um, actually more common than not, unfortunately, and it's caused by a couple of different things. Um, I highly recommend if you're a non-singer that you do a, a speech therapist at first just to get you going and get you moving because it's when you're using these uh, retinoid mus muscles in the neck and your larynx is all squeezing to talk. Some people get muscle tension dysphonia. We'll talk about the jaw roller in a minute, yes. Some people get muscle tension dysphonia from a traumatic event, uh, could be PTSD, it could be a lot of things that turns physical. Some people it starts physical and it can turn mental. You gotta figure out which one you are. If you need help with that, again, go to ValerieMorehouse.com. I will point you in the right direction. I have a lot of great people that you could do lessons with online as far as just speech therapy. 
um, or if you need to be diagnosed, you might not be as bad as you think you are. And you might have a couple of exercises we might be able to give you that you can do by yourself on the daily um, that might be very helpful. But I just have to f kind of diagnose uh, what it is and, and why it is and where it's coming from first, because that's really important if it's mind to body or body to mind. I hope that made sense. Um, so we want to talk about the jaw roller. I don't have one in front of me. I think I gave my last one. I'm sorry to know Cyrus. She was headed out and didn't have one, but we love the jaw roller and you can get those on bettervoice.store as well. Um, they're the cryogenic therapy. It's super cool. You can put it in cold, cold, cold water or ice. I throw mine in the freezer or you can do it. So you can do it cold or hot. So it's really great just to cool everything down. I've used it on my neck before. You can use it on your face if you're puffy. You can still roll it on your face, but it's for jaw tension, or you can heat it up. You just stick it in some really hot water, and it, it holds on to the heat and or the cold. And you can just put that heat on your jaw and slowly circle and rub it on your jaw. You can rub it down these muscles down the neck. A lot of my clients have one. They love it. They travel with it. So you can get all those products on bettervoice.store. You can get the vocal trainer your nebulizer and your jaw roller. The three things that every singer should have because whether you have TMJ or not, we all get tired jaws and we all get sometimes sore necks. And so those things are three things um, that I would highly, highly recommend. Um, any other questions? I hope I answered everybody's questions. We've got a couple minutes here, about five or six minutes. So anybody that didn't get a chance, hi, waving. Salah, how are you? Natalie, how are you? Layla, any new singers, any advanced singers with questions? Um, anybody that needs any assistance or again has questions outside of this that would rather contact me privately? You can contact me at ValerieMorehouse.com. <clears throat> There's a contact um, bar at the top. You can just click on that. I can put you in the right direction. If you're having any vocal issues at all, we can address those. So um, I love these lives. They're super fun. I love all the people that come in and have questions and I can answer them because not everybody has access to uh, a proper teacher or somebody that's doing it at a certain level. So it's nice to be able to have these forums and really ask, answer all your questions. Um, this is not something that we could do back in my day. Um, we had universal lifelines, right? And that's how we taught. We didn't have phones, we didn't have computers, we didn't have dial up, the internet didn't even exist. Yes, that's how old I am. Um, but we would use, I would use like a phone or we do it over the phone. And so this is just such a nice forum for us to be able to get together and, and see each other and chat with each other and really communicate about the voice and dispel some myths and some misinformation. So be careful of some of the information you get on Instagram. Um, some of the stuff that you get online, especially Instagram. I've said at the top of this, I've seen a couple of posts and videos that from teachers that were mildly disturbing. Um, Hi, my love son broke, uh, that were mildly disturbing and it was a lot of misinformation. So just be very careful where you, you get your information. This is a really good, good, good place to get your information. You know that it's sound. Um, I'm, I'm vetted by a lot of surgeons, ear, nose and throat surgeons. I've been working with them for 25 years. They all know me. Um, I do rehab and uh, work with a lot of clients with all kinds of things from hemorrhages to polyps to nodules to cancer to paralyzed cords to everything. I've worked with non-singers and obviously singers and non-singers alike, um, broadcasters, people that use their voice for a living. So um, you really wanna go to a place you feel comfortable with that you trust and that's been vetted. Um, and also this great company um, that Braden Oswald started, uh, Better Voice Company, um, you can log into that and there's tips on that as well, bettervoice.co. Not to be confused with bettervoice.store, which is where you get your products, right? Um, are you taking new clients? I always take new clients, yes. 27 years I've been at this. I always take new clients. I always find time for people. I always figure it out. I want to hear you. I want to see you. I want to diagnose you. I want to help you. And then I have two incredible associate teachers that work for me that work with my clients as well. If I'm out or I'm gone and they'll warm them up and they love them. So if your budget is, um, if you're on a, on a budget, obviously something you want to do weekly um, and stay in touch with 
we can work, we work as a team. And so you can go to somebody that's even more accessible on the weekly basis and, and is a little bit more budget friendly. So not everybody has a label paying for their lessons. So I, I understand that. ValerieMorehouse.com, guys. You can reach me there. ValerieMorehouse.com. I will hit you back, I promise. Um, I think we have to wrap it up. We have like two more minutes. If there's anybody else that has a question, I would love to answer it. Hi guys, a couple of faces or names that I recognize coming in. If you don't have your vocal trainers, guys, go get them. They're really, really um, insanely priced in a good way. Uh, hang on to them, they're very, very special. Don't lose them if you buy one. Um, they're very sturdy, but they're just sort of the best thing that I've ever used in, in over two decades of teaching, and they work really, really fast. We're always giving tips and tricks on Better Voice, on official Val Morehouse, um, and if you wanna, hi Brazil, hi Andrea, if you wanna contact me, oh, it's Adrian, I'm sorry. Um, hi Brazil, love Brazil. I uh, was there with, in Brazil with Avril Levine about 11 years ago, loved it. Beautiful, beautiful place. Um, contact me at ValerieMorehouse.com. If you didn't get to ask your question, um, I will answer those there. I hope you guys got a lot out of this. We'll do these sort of pop-ups uh, periodically so you can ask me questions. So. Stay plugged in with uh, the bettervoice.co um, on Instagram and or official Val Morehouse. So it was great seeing you guys today. Thank you for joining um, and go pick up all your products. So hope you got all of that. And if you have more questions, join us on the next live or ask them um, separate again on valeriemorehouse.com. So thanks for joining guys and I will see you next time. Take care. <laughs>